Hey guys, good morning. So I'm really excited about today's project. I'm gonna be planting up a couple of part shade, part sun containers right here at the end of our pergola. These are the containers right here. These I love. They look kind of like a wicker basket. They are resin and I've had them for about three years. So likely you'll see me plant something up in these if you've been watching our videos uh, because I think we've done several videos where I've used these. I just really, really like them. Uh, and this area is kind of strange because it doesn't get full sun, it doesn't get full shade, it gets pretty much filtered sun throughout the whole day. So I've picked out a really beautiful and interesting blend of plants here. I've got one flower, the rest is all foliage. Um, I also don't want to do anything that's going to kind of impede the look of these, our pinky winky hydrangea standards right here. And they're gorgeous and they start to bloom, they just get really big. Um, so I want something that I can kind of keep down a little bit, but still have a lot of interest in color. And I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Like what I do when I go down to the garden center and I'm doing containers because it can get so overwhelming with the amount of choices. Like, I, I don't know, it gets really confusing and sometimes I end up not bringing enough home or bringing too much home. So what I like to do is I like to lay everything out on the ground and I'll do that right at the garden center. I'll just grab what I think is pretty, like right here. This is called um, Wicked Hot Coleus. It's one that's gonna be new next year and I love it. I love the way the leaf looks, the kind of structure of it, the color's beautiful. This one will go straight into fall with no problem. Like it has that kind of warm fall color. So I want to do three of those kind of as a centerpiece. These will grow quite tall, like, I can't remember, we'll put it up on the screen, like I think they'll get up to like three feet, but you can keep coleus trimmed down and it kind of bushes out and it's really pretty. It's a really easy one to kind of manipulate uh, for a container situation. And then we've got, this is Diamond Delight Euphorbia, which grows about 10 to 12 inches tall. And this is an interesting euphorbia because I use Diamond Frost a lot and it's a little bit more wispy. This one is definitely more dense and compact and it has a lot more color to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of bump three of these kind of in between, like in the little gaps in between the coleus. And then we've got another coleus. I always wanna call this a sedum. It's a chocolate drop coleus, not sedum. Beautiful trailing type coleus. It will get a little bit tall, but then it'll also kind of trail over the sides. So I kind of wanna do, I'm just kind of bumping all of these into thirds here. And it might arrange a little tiny bit differently in the container. Um, but this is generally kind of how I want it to look. And then we've got Dichondra Silver Falls for that beautiful icy blue kind of touch. And that will probably end up somewhere like this. I think that's gonna be a beautiful blend of plants. And this is what I do at the garden center. Like do not be shy to just get your stuff out. I always love it when I see customers do that because um, like when I work down at the garden center a lot more, because it gave me ideas. I could see what they were pairing together. I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. I never really thought of that. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I do. And that's what's going in these containers. So the first thing I'm gonna add is some slow release fertilizer. This feeds for like six to eight weeks, kind of a slow feed. So I'm just gonna add a little bit in and you work it into just the top few inches of soil because that's where really the plant's roots are gonna be here for the next little bit. Um, and then I do water with a water soluble fertilizer once a week. So what I'm gonna do is get these all planted up and then we'll take a look at them, kind of see what they look like in their container because right now, you know, I've got them kind of spread out right here and they'll look a little bit different once we get them all kind of nestled into their little homes. And then we'll talk about some care tips going forward. love how these turned out. I think it's a really beautiful blend of color and texture without using a whole lot of bloom. I mean, we've got some uh, beautiful white blooms here and I mean, those do kind of pack a punch. They're a very bright pop in this arrangement, but the foliage here is just gorgeous. 
and I say foliage, not foliage. I think it's a regional thing, that's how we pronounce it in my area, so I just wanted to address that because we do get comments about it quite often. It's kind of like herb and herb. We drop the H in herb, I never say it with an H. So anyway, I think it's just like we have different areas that pronounce things differently, I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would just talk about it for a second. Um, but all of these plants are really kind of versatile, like the coleus is here, um, can take either sun or shade or somewhere in between. Same with the Diamond Delight and the Dichondra Silver Falls and the Diamond Delight will probably do the best like leaning toward a little bit more sun, um, but I've seen them handle part shade locations just great. So I think this is going to be a really fun one to watch fill in throughout the season. It already looks full already. I mean, I used I used three of every single plant. Um, and like I said, this coleus here will want to get bigger and I'll let it get a little bit bigger, um, but I'll keep pinching it um, so that it stays a little bit more, more bushy. And then the diamond delight will kind of grow out like this and spread out a little bit. And then the chocolate drop will kind of go over the sides. I don't know. I just really love this and I've been working a lot more with foliage instead of bloom. I mean I work a lot with blooms too but I've been trying to do a lot more using just leaves and the way they look together and the colors and it's just been really fun. It's something I've been really enjoying. So anyway I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, you know my kind of going forward tips are kind of the same with all containers. You know make sure to fertilize. I talk about it all the time you know put your continuous release in the soil make sure to fertilize on a weekly basis to get the best performance and make sure you have everything in the proper light and you should have success with your containers so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye